Changes to New South Wales swimming pool legislation will have councils assessing the standard of child protective barriers in backyard pools. Locals who purchase blow-up and temporary pools will need to put up fences or face fines from $220 to $2,000 if they do not comply by November 15. Pools of up to 30 centimetres can be penalised in an effort to increase pool safety and reduce the number of children drowning. However, Marion Boyer, mother of seven from Central Coast Minor, argues the low prices of blow-up pools will not pressure owners to spend on fencing costs. I think a lot of people will try to avoid the fencing. I, like, I've just got an inflatable pool. Uh, it's only like a $25 pool. And so I was surprised when I saw the package that it could be affected by, like, council rules. I don't think I'll worry about fencing at all. On average, six children drown in pools each year and even more suffering from near drowning events. Damien Moore, father of two, is installing a new pool in his backyard and takes these new laws seriously. Most people don't and I think they all sh it should be all done. Yeah. Everyone should be doing it because it should be compulsory. Yeah. But most people don't want to do it because they don't have the money to do it or anything like that. But 100% they should have fences up and it should be all properly yeah. done. But pool safety is more than just a fence. Surf lifesaver Grace Lee pushes the importance of layers of protection. Um, but that's only half of the equation. We also need um, to implement uh, swimming lessons as well as um, parents need to learn how to do CPR so they can protect their children. Combination of adequate supervision and proper barriers is expected to save lives and reduce the number of near drowning experiences. Isabella Mifsud reporting for UTS News.